A journey that only should have lasted a few hours ended up taking four days. Hey, oh man, this is so great. Thank you. Oh, it's so great to be home. Sharon Cisna's voyage is over. It was wonderful, and especially the minute I hit Alaska. I gotta tell you, never had such a hard time getting here. The lawmaker refused a TSA pat down in the Seattle airport last weekend because she says she was singled out when a full body scan revealed irregularities in her chest, the result of a mastectomy. These people were trying to tell me how important it was that I be molested to save everyone and that I should be proud to save people by me being filled up. No, that doesn't make sense. She chose to leave the airport and travel by sea. Her decision resonated far beyond that moment. I knew that Sharon was coming in today. I didn't know what time, so I grabbed a cardboard box and made a welcome home sign and grabbed my flags <laughs> with duct tape. She doesn't like being patted down, and I don't blame her. It's a violation of your rights. Cisna says she's planning a resolution urging the TSA to stop intrusive searches. We've got to protect our people from harm that's done supposedly to make us safe. The TSA said after Cisna's incident that it's sensitive to the concerns of passengers who are not satisfied with their screening experience, and it invites those individuals to provide feedback. At least one traveler has made quite a statement.